Hey, how's it going everybody? Today's just a super quick video. I want to show you guys something that I stumbled upon uh, just doing a quick Google search and I'm hoping it helps you guys out. So the the, the website's called peerref.com. There'll be a link below. I'm going to show you guys very quickly what it does. If there's some intricacies with it. You guys can deal with that on your own. But I just want to present this to you in case you guys don't know. Most of you probably do know about this, but for those of us like myself that didn't, I hope this helps you out. So the reason why I was looking for something like this was it's for referencing, okay? So like if you get like a whole bunch of reference files and you have to open them up on a second monitor or you just have them on your main monitor, you know, it's nice to be able to go back and look at like, let's say costumes, whatever you might need reference for. So the context to which I needed it for, or that I would like it for, is I was, I'm doing a client project, I'm working on a cover for a client, and uh, he gave me multiple comic pages to sort of give reference for the characters that I need to draw in that image, right? Now, I've made a Photoshop file where I just put all those images that, like I cropped pages, or crop, cropped images from his comic pages and reference he sent me to make my own reference sheets. Now, the troublesome part with that is it's like I have to open up a Photoshop file, click off layers if I want certain individual things. It, it's tedious. It's boring. So I just did a quick look, and this came up, and it's so far it's been amazing. I've only had it for a day, but I thought it was warranted enough to show you guys. It's free, um, but they also take donations as well, so I'm going to be donating to purchase it as well, okay? So I just want to show you guys. You guys check this out. Now, for uh, sake of I can't show you what I'm working on, I'll do this with Jessup King. So I already did it, uh, the comic that I'm, the web comic that I'm already working on. Uh, so let me just pull it up here so you guys can see what I'm looking at. And I apologize it's a little small. I'm going to show you a little bit uh, in a second here. So who cares, right? This is it. This is all the cobbled pieces of uh, reference that I needed. But you can move this window wherever you want. You can resize it, you know, all that cool stuff. Uh, if I can get my cursor there, whatever you want. So when you're working in Manga Studio or uh, you know Photoshop, you just get it to the size you want. So if you only have one monitor, this is great. Okay, you can right mouse click, move things around. But that's not the point. The point is, inside here is all the reference that I think I would need, and I can zoom in, and you can see that like the fidelity is still the same. It's high resolution stuff. You can zoom right out, whatever you want. You can format all kinds of things in here, right? You can click on a guy, just want to see him, hit spacebar, boom, I can be brought just to that. Now why this is powerful, like I said for referencing, right? I wanted a little file here that I could have that I'm going to slowly build up over time of just like, what does my characters look like when they're angry? A good character for this is uh, Momo, right here. I have her, I have the design of her, I've printed it, I have it on my wall for reference, right? But I remember in the last couple pages she was yelling and I'm like I don't remember how many if I gave her certain kind of gums or whatever right so I just took a quick snapshot you know like of this panel right here and now I always have this and it's, it's it's here I can always grab it what does she look like angry you know she seems like she's always angry but there's all these looks uh, the bad guys the tools they use um, some recurring monsters that I might want to bring back you know these dudes here uh, this sketch of Jessup that's pretty much the inspiration for the whole design uh, aesthetic that I'm going for with shading and stuff, right? Super powerful stuff. Uh, it's got some extra features too, like um, I believe it's, let's see if it's alt, if I remember, three? Yeah, see, it turns it into glass, it's called, and it's transparent, so you can still see through it, so you still get a little bit of real estate and all that stuff like that, right? So, I, and it's super lightweight. I haven't had it crash or anything yet. I've been using it all day. Uh, I started it with the project and did this. Anyway, I'm going to show you just one quick example of how the hell uh, this works in action uh, before we move on. So, Let's just say I want a picture. Let me just grab, pretty sure I have it up here. Yep, okay. Oops, let me minimize that. We don't need that there. Uh, minimize, okay. <laughs> Is it going to go away? No, okay. I'm just going to move it over to the side here so you guys don't have to see it. So let's just say I'm going through here. Um, I'm just using Windows. I don't know if you guys on Mac, or if you guys are using Mac, I don't know exactly what you guys are going to use. But I want this picture right here of Jessup looking sad, like a frown, right? So what I do is you can actually take, like if you have your folder open, you can just drag a whole thing right into this guy, into the into the pure ref file, and it's fine, no problem. But I'm using a little something else. This is just a habit I have from uh, from work on Windows. It's it's this really gross thing called snipping tool. Uh, you can just uh, search on your hard drive for it. It comes standard with Windows that I'm aware of, and literally just go new. It's gonna have like where do you want? So I'm just gonna make a selection. That's not the best, but for me with comic pages, instead of bringing a whole comic page, like it's instantly cropped. I don't have to go into Photoshop. Forget going to Manga Studio to crop stuff. That stuff's a chore, right? So it's there. It's automatically copied. You can hit Control C, Edit Copy if you want, but it's already there. 
So if I bring back uh, pure ref, right? So just click somewhere like that. And I'm just going to hit Control V, and bang, you're there. You can also change the sizes. You can adjust all that stuff too, right? Um, so let's say I want to just move it up here. So he's got some expression on there. And you can go right click canvas optimize and you can't kind of see it but it's basically shrinking it in you can also do some i'm not going to do it right now but I'll, well actually i'll show you because you can undo it like let's say you want to go um where is it here uh canvas no images arrange optimal right and what it'll do let's see if it worked no oh maybe i hit the wrong one let's try that again images uh arrange align oh it was one of them i thought i had it Canvas optimize. Okay, cool. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Maybe because I have that one selected. Let me try this one more time. I just want to show you guys something. It's kind of cool. For some of you guys, you might dig this. You might not. Arrange optimal. There we go. Because it had something selected. So you see what it just did there? It basically took all the images you had and tried to do the best to make it the smallest file it possibly can. Now I don't like this because, like you saw, I was grouping things together. So if I wanted Momo reference, she's here. If I wanted Jessup reference, he's there, right? So I'm just going to hit Control Z to go back. And that's pretty much it, okay? So I just want to show you guys this. I'm getting out of here. Uh, and again, please check out uh, Pure Ref. Let me get this out of here so you can see it. Close all this crap down. Check out this website. Uh, they've got a whole bunch of stuff. Like I say, it's it's free. Um, I would encourage you to donate some money, you know, whatever you think it's worth. But download for free. Try it out. See what you think. And give them some money. And I hope it helps you guys out, especially with reference and stuff, okay? So I want to give a shout-out again. It doesn't listen to my channel. But thank you to uh, Control Paint. Uh, you get, follow them, too, on uh, YouTube as well. Wonderful channel. A lot of digital painting. A lot of Photoshop techniques and stuff on there. But anyway, I'm getting out of here. I got work to do, so I just want to share this with you guys. And like usual, keep reading comics, keep making comics, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.